You want to learn how to make money with affiliate marketing without having to have a website? Hey guys, this is Michael Granados. Um, people also call me the viral affiliate. Um, and in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and educate you guys and teach you guys more about um, what it really means to do affiliate marketing without a website. Um, I know that I've been getting asked this question a lot of times. And so I wanna really just break it down for you guys. And that's why I've also um, shared the screen with you guys so I can go ahead and um, illustrate some things that I can show you guys a little bit better this way. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. But um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move out of this screen. What you're seeing is my homepage to uh, one of my businesses. I'm a, I have two businesses currently in the affiliate marketing space. I first started in the health and wellness industry. Uh, that's how most people would know me. Uh, I, I have helped out a lot of people who had problems with their back pain, especially I started in uh, lower back pain and from there on, um, I moved, um, you know, over the years of working on that site and business, I've been able to expand more and now help other people who want to learn how to get into affiliate marketing, whether it's in health and wellness. Um, I help a lot of those people out or it's any other industry in general, um, you know, as a digital marketer, as an, uh, as an, aff as an affiliate and an internet marketer, um, really just hone in on my skills. Um, but what you're seeing is not going to be one of them. And I'm going to show you uh, just five of the ways I can put it in the six, but I'm going to go ahead and, and, and truncate them and just show you all those ways of doing them. Um, the one you're seeing right now is a website. Okay. So you don't need an actual website. That's the short answer. Um, do I encourage you to use one? I'm going to get that out the way and say, yes, you should have a website at the end of the day because long term, if you want to do affiliate marketing, that's how people are going to come to know you. People are going to come to trust you. You're going to be the expert in your niche. So people want to see how you're relatable and how you can actually help them out. Um, so long term strategy, if you're going to do this, make sure you get yourself a website. Um, and I have um, a blog. So, you know, you don't have to do affiliate marketing with a blog. Um, there are other ways that I'm going to get to right now. But blogging is where I started with her search engine optimization. And then I moved uh, there on out through some other strategies, which, which I'm going to go ahead and share with you. Um, so let's go ahead and get on the whiteboard here. Hope you guys are having a great day too. A uh, great afternoon or a great night, whatever part of the world you guys are in. It's about 11, 11, it's exactly 11, 11, um, June the 1st here. AM, let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with number one. So number one being, oh, the screen doesn't work too well. Some of the settings might be off on this uh, touch screen, but um, we're gonna work with that for now. And I'm gonna say the first one being social, okay? And I do apologize if that doesn't look right. Um, but number one being social media. I know a lot of people that start off in affiliate marketing wanting to get into social media um, and getting into social media and thinking that they can just go in there and use their affiliate links and spam every single person that they can. Uh, go to the direct message or go to a comment and just say, hey, um, here's my link, boom. Or if they go into the direct message inbox and they leave them a short message that says hi, or maybe they introduce themselves and they go, here's my link. Um, that's not what I want you to do. Yes, you can do social media affiliate marketing, but there's ways to, hand, there's ways to be handled, okay? There's not. Um, one particular good way to go about it. Um, I have many ways and I actually teach people how to do this, how to market the products that they have and their own, um, other people's products and then their own that they have the correct way. But with social media, you have to be careful because you can lose a lot of people if you just think you're gonna go out there and spam people with your links. Um, you should be really building a relationship. This is what affiliate marketing is. Um, it's not a get rich quick scheme. If that's for you, you should already not even be uh, here on this video watching this um, because I don't teach people that and I don't educate the people that I work with every single day who are already growing their businesses. 
um, to go ahead and go about it that way. Um, so social media, there's a lot of real estate on there. You can go ahead and connect with many people. Um, you just have to figure out what your niche is. If you know, don't know what a niche is yet, um, it's basically choosing an industry. Like uh, let's say the big three right now are health and wellness, dating, relationships, and then um, financing or MMO, make money online. Um, and so you go on social media and you are basically there building relationships with people. Um, that's the best way to go about affiliate marketing on there. Um, it doesn't cost anything, of course, when you have when you don't have a website. You don't have to maintain the cost of maybe the monthly, the yearly eleven dollar domain fee, um, which is an advantage. Uh, you can actually connect with people in your industry and see what they're doing. Um, depending on what social media platform you're on, and it all depends on your niche. Uh, like for my, like for me, for example, when I first started in the health and wellness space and I did that over, you know, a lot of like some years and then, uh, um, learning how to build that into a business. And what I learned was that some platforms weren't specifically for me in my industry, like Instagram with health and wellness is it works. It, it does well. You just got to, it's more of a networking platform. So if you understand how to network with people and how to direct message inbox people, um, so that they see who you are, then it builds up more credibility with you. So if, if you were to go about it on a platform that's not um, for your niche, you can go ahead and send people like um, automated, maybe um, organic or not, not like those, not like those bots that um, with the algorithms of, of Instagram. But um, if you go ahead and do it in an appropriate way, you, you build an awareness with somebody um, that, that, hey, you're, you're here, this is who I am. And if you need any help with this, Go ahead and do that. You know, you set up your bio and all that. And that's stuff I help you out with. Um, social media is good for that. But, you know, for me, it was a lot of work. It was Pinterest and Facebook because you got to understand where your groups are congregating. So you can do affiliate marketing. Just know your industry. Um, another one here being, there we go. It's working a little bit better now. Still a little choppy though. And that doesn't look clean. Um, here we have Facebook groups. Facebook groups is a huge one right now. Um, 2019 and beyond, this is growing much more rapidly because I, a big part of, okay, a big part of what people do when they come into affiliate marketing, I think they go about it the wrong way. Um, they join these high ticket programs, which I'm going to say the high ticket affiliate marketing right now is much, um, better to maintain an actual living instead of going for like Amazon um, one sale commissions. They do work. I have websites on Amazon and stuff like that and they do well, very well. Um, but I built it over time and um, I've been able to make a connection with people and, and other systems and like build my systems up. Um, but I do participate in also high ticket affiliate uh, networks. And these are good because they, you know, give you more of a sense of security and they give you uh, reoccurring monthly commissions. So once you can go ahead and get that rolling, it, you know, becomes an avalanche. And all you got to do is uh, your avalanche comes from your systems in place, which is what we're talking about, doing affiliate marketing without a website. Um, so here you go. Um, so Facebook groups is a really strong one right now. Um, a lot of people are getting in there to educate their audience, to help them, inform them. Um, it's not about spamming with your links to your, like for me, I don't spam people there with my links to my blog, uh, to my YouTube videos. Um, I don't do that. I'm there to make sure that my community is, is doing as well as they can. Um, I, want there to, I want to be there to make sure that they're doing well, that they need all the information that they need to make an informed decision on what they need to do moving forward. I've helped out a lot of people build out their health and wellness businesses. I've helped out people get started in affiliate marketing. I just make sure I point people to the directions and the platforms that they need. Okay. Um, and so Facebook groups is a good one. Let's say you're working in the, uh, credit card or you're working in some kind of consulting and you want to make sure you help people out with how to do that. Um, Facebook groups would be a good way to go about it. Uh, so that, that'd be good if you can get people in there and you know, if you can make it exclusive, that's why, that's why you can close these kind of groups up so you can make them, uh, 
you can prevent people from who just want to go in there and spam and people who are not serious about starting affiliate marketing and what you have to offer them. Okay. So you can go ahead and do it that way. I know I spent a lot of time on number one, but let me go ahead and go back to the whiteboard here. Now let's do the job. Um, oh, one thing I didn't cover that I had here um, that I wanted to was with social media, you can do things like, it doesn't fall underneath social media exactly, but you can do uh, forum marketing um, and you can do a lot of uh, that kind where you can go on forums and you can do uh, posting on, on these platforms like Quora where you can get people information and they have questions, you answer their questions and you go ahead and give them an educated um, answer about what they have a question to. And at the very bottom of it, you can like send them to your blog post, send them to a video. Um, I wouldn't send them to your uh, affiliate link exactly, which I'll get to how you can send them to that affiliate link. And I just named it right there with video. Um, so that's one of them. And you have many forums you can go into. I know when I first started, I was going into like Spine Health and I was doing uh, Quora. I was doing Reddit. Reddit is get a look at some of the the rules there because it's pretty particular about how they go about doing that. Um, number two being now YT. I'm going to put YouTube there. Okay, so number two being YouTube. Um, YouTube is a great place to get started. And a lot of people right now are going into that direction um, because they can rank their videos uh, much more faster than they can on uh, like a platform like Google. If you're trying to rank, like what I do with blogging and with search engine optimization is trying to rank in the first page of Google, which I have many pages for already. But um, YouTube, um, you can rank your videos a little bit much quicker and you can figure out, you know, you still have to figure out how to optimize your videos, how to make sure you put the right tags and how to do all that information. But I can help you out with that. Um, and I'll, again, I have, I'm going to have more information underneath in the description. Um, if you're here and, you know, with YouTube, make sure you look underneath so you can get access to um, how to make more of a living with affiliate marketing and just the platforms that I'm on that actually um, will get you going in the right direction that you need. Um, and so YouTube being one of them and YouTube is a great place because you can come in there and you can target keywords, which are uh, what people are typing into YouTube or what people are typing into Google. Um, and figuring out how to post your videos around that and make us construct the video. And if you need help with that, again, I can also point you in that direction. Um, I was shy with doing YouTube. Um, I was shy with even wanting to do blogging. Like blogging was never a thing. I've always had like this mathematical mindset, but when I really got into affiliate marketing and I really learned how to share the interest that I had, the um, self-education interest, because I've gone to school for three plus years, um, it really opened up my doors. You know, having an education with self-education, you combine the two, you're going to be really strong. And those are the people that are going to really like propel themselves that are really going to go, look, I've known what it's like to push myself. I'm going to push myself even stronger at doing this. So YouTube being another one, just optimizing your page, um, optimizing the, uh, you know, the descriptions, everything like that. That's how you can attract uh, people without a website. Um, and then well, like with number one, what I said with like forum marketing and doing, um, there's other words for that too, but um, I like to, I like to call it forum marketing. Uh, you can go ahead and send people from a post you make and send them to your YouTube video. And then underneath that YouTube video is where you have a, you have a link uh, to your affiliates site, which is amazing because with blogs, sometimes you have to read through the whole thing. Of course you have to know how to structure it, but within YouTube, you can place a description right underneath, right? You can place a description right underneath and it can have your affiliate link right away. And then you can have more information on there. Um, and so you can do that and you know, you can get people to see that link much more sooner getting all these notifications that I don't like. <laughs> I'm not sure why I got to unsubscribe from the one of them, especially this person. Um, but, uh, you can do YouTube. YouTube is a great way. Um, many people ask me, is it YouTube or is it blogging? What is your strong point? And go for that. Do you like YouTube? Do you like blogging? Are you stronger at that? Are you going to be a pod? Do you like podcasting? Nobody is always good at one thing. 
you got to learn too that even if you think you're good at YouTube, you might be even better off at doing a blog. Maybe you're good at doing blogging, but your video is be you're better at YouTube, not showing your face, but maybe just going about it and, and putting like, you know, you, you could do things like PowerPoint, P for PowerPoint. Um, you can do share screen like I'm doing right now with you. You could do one-to-one, -one, like just the full screen yourself and then the, you know, you're shooting the video. Um, there are different uh, ways to go about it. I think one-on-one -on -one videos are the best ways. And then um, there's software too, where you can actually transfer to share screens and then, you know, you can go to your PowerPoints, zoom in and out. I mean, that's more um, upgraded stuff. You don't need that upgraded stuff to start. Um, and that's a whole nother subject I'm not going to get into so much, but um, you kind of understand that now. You can kind of see the picture on that. Okay, number three. Uh, should I put that one first? I'm thinking about naming that one. Uh, three. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with that one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and name number three, and that's going to be email marketing. Okay. EM and then M for marketing. All right. So you don't have to have an actual website per se. You can actually go for um, the old days. It was about just emailing people back and forth, right? Um, you know, there was AOL, there was chat, there was a whole bunch of different things. I remember those days. And then uh, you can do just email marketing where you can send somebody a message and, you know, follow up with them again and just send them your affiliate link. But most people don't understand that with affiliate marketing, that's not how it works. Um, with affiliate marketing and email marketing, you, you, you're you there to provide people with your content, with your value, content and value, content and value. And a lot of people don't have that from the very beginning when they start. Um, I have it because I started the way I should have, that the, everybody should. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about that a little bit more towards the end. But email marketing, um, you're basically, you know, you have an autoresponder set up is basically all you need. Um, I have mine for about $19 a month. It's not bad considering um, that you're investing in a business and that you're investing in yourself. And a lot of people don't understand that to make money, you got to spend some money. Um, I know that at first, when I first started, it was all like free. Let me start a Wix free website or let me go to um, WebNote or do these other ones. And I really quickly realized that um, with those, it didn't work and that I didn't have the right training for it. Even though I went into like HostGator and I didn't have the right training yet, I needed to pair up with mentors and I needed to pair up with people that knew what they were doing because that's going to accelerate everything for you. And I hope that I can be that for you because I've learned a lot, a lot. And so I have it all pretty much together. I'm making my um, living working from home. So I'm going at this full time. And so I want to help you with that. And so email marketing is a great way to, uh, if you just have an autoresponder, you basically just set up your messages, automate them. And once they go out, um, you really don't have to mess with them too much. You just go back to them, update them from time to time. As a beginner, um, as, I be, as, I, as I noticed, even when you do it from the beginning, it doesn't always work the first time. You got to go in there and tweak things up. It's all about systems. And testing, A-B testing is everything with affiliate marketing. Um, so that's the joy in it. It's like being a scientist. It's like being a scientist. Um, I come from a business slash chemistry background too. Um, Division one, a soccer athlete. Um, and so I like the whole scientific approach to everything. I like theories and also understanding the facts within the scientific, um, you know, hypotheses and then predictions and stuff like that, but, and then trial, because that's so an amazing thing. When you get into all that, it really opens up your mind more and it really gets you going and it really gets you, you know, like, wow, I did this for myself. You know, I had the help, but I also figured out that this works for me because what works for somebody else, um, you might copy what somebody else does, but how are they getting traffic? How are they, is there, is their personality different? So everything's going to be about that. And that's what email marketing comes to is building relationships with people. Um, and so you got to be able to build the relationships and relationships built on trust and honesty. Um, I really don't turn to people who want to promote you with links and link after link. Um, I help you out with this too, with email marketing, if you need help with that, but it's all about, and I have actual different videos for that. I might have separate, I might have separate videos for each and every single one of these points. Um, so make sure you check below. And so it's all about providing people with content um, value, right? Content and value, everything like that. You're providing people with content. Um, that can be your YouTube videos. That can be your blog posts. If you have a website, this is not about a website, but, uh, you can do that. A podcast. If you have, you know, 
videos that you make yourself. If you're in the Facebook group, you know, send them to your Facebook group. If you're like, here, I'm providing these people with value. You should come in here and see what I'm doing. I'm doing Facebook live videos. Um, so that's an amazing way to do it. All right, that's number three. Number four. Paid ads, okay? I don't like this concept, okay? I, I'm not a big fan of just going into affiliate marketing with the plan of just using paid advertisements. And let me tell you why. When you create an affiliate marketing legitimate business, if that's what you want, okay? Um, maybe your expectations are not that at the moment, but I want to get you there. I want to get you thinking that you can create your own business online and you can have an effect on so many people. The way that you affect so many people online, man, it's so amazing. Like it's an experience of a lifetime, um, truly, especially for me, because I learned, I went out of my comfort zone with affiliate marketing and I learned in an industry that I had somewhat of, an, of, of, an, of a background with, with the health and wellness back pain industry. And then I learned so much. I immersed myself. I got more educated in it. You know, I've been able to do that so well. But um, with paid ads, you basically are setting up a, you know, you're, you're going through Google AdWords. You're doing like Bing. You're doing Instagram ads, Facebook ads, whichever platform. Those are the big ones. And you're basically driving traffic, which are the people, over to your offer and from the offer over to the merchant, otherwise known as that retailer. And, you know, when they make the purchase, you make the commission again. Um, but it, it gets a little tricky because people think they can just send people to their affiliate links. Um, you know, there's other ways of doing it. You can send people to your affiliate links. You can send people to your YouTube video. Since you don't have a website, remember, we're not talking about a website here. Um, a blog would be good, but um, we're not talking about that. And so here you can send people to what is otherwise known as a bridge page, which will be my point number five. But basically what a bridge page is when you do paid advertising is you collect people's information. Um, you give them, in exchange, you give them like what's called a lead magnet, which is basically something of low cost or, or for free, but of high value. And so that's something you give them so you can follow up with them. So it could be like the five tips to overcome your back pain post workout the five natural remedies if you're um, trying to heal your herniated disc or if you're trying to heal your um, your facet joints or something don't want to go far into that but that would be an example of it and then you just you know collect their information and you're following up with them they might not make the purchase the first time you're not showing them your affiliate links okay you're not showing them an affiliate link you're showing them a bridge page which is basically here um, collect my information. Here's my name. Here's my email. You might even have a phone number, but that's not needed. And then up here you have like a headline and you have more of a description why they're going to opt in, why they should do that. And then over here, now you're following up with email marketing, which is amazing. Now you're combining email marketing with it. So now you're auto responder with your paid ads. And that's a great way to do it. Um, obviously it takes more of a learning curve, I think. Um, especially for newbies, for people who are just beginning, if they don't have a mentor or if they don't have somebody who's been through it themselves. Um, I'm always, I'm always of the kind that wants to say, look, I'm a practitioner. I practice what I teach and I will never teach you something that I haven't gone through it myself. Building two businesses already. Um, I want to make sure that you have everything you need as a digital um, strategist, as you know, I want, me, I want to make sure you have all this, not just as an affiliate. I want to make sure that you understand how everything works all in together. And so I'm going to make sure you get the best out of that. And so you can go out there and, and, and achieve the greatness. that I know you can do it. Okay, if I can do it, you can do it. I was never, like, you know, as a Latino, we don't think about doing things online. For me, going to school and everything, that was my thing. Going to school, playing soccer. And focusing on other things, but then when I found the, the internet space, you know, I was at a time when, when, you know, I was working for a company being underappreciated, undervalued. I was working for a contracting pump company serving HP, and they really took things, you know, I was getting paid minimum wage at that time when I should have gone been paid over like 20, over 
25 um, for what I was doing, you know, busting my butt off for them and, you know, data entry and then picking up physical work and stocking and using a forklift and doing things of that nature. Um, after, you know, while I was still, I think this was, this was after I had finished um, some of my schooling already and I had gone into work and then I was looking for more certifications and don't want to go into that story because that's not what this is me trying to share it with you about. But, you know, I found affiliate marketing. I turned on to the internet marketing world and really opened up everything and it really opened up doors. Hope we can do the same for you. Number five, funnels. This, this right here is the most legitimate answer of all of them. Okay. Funnels is going to be the best one. Um, and I say that because funnels, what, what do you, what do you think is a funnel? Is, is it a marketing funnel? What is it? Is it a sales funnel? What kind of funnel is it? You've seen these funnels, um, on websites, you know, where people create an awareness, people create an interest, people can, uh, you create the, the, um, the word I'm looking for, not continuum. Um, you're basically creating that awareness, interest, and you're, pre you're pretty much creating that um, gap where somebody is going ahead and listening to what you have to say about, um, here, let me show you that actually right now. Um, the word I'm looking for, it's in my dictionary. I just haven't used it in a while. Uh, let's see here. If I go ahead and type it in the word marketing funnel. There it is. Consideration. I don't know why I couldn't come up with this. Um, but it can be consideration. we we'll use this one here. Um, so you're basically building an awareness. And it's all in there. Awareness. Basically, you show them your lead magnet and they opt in. Um, you're nurturing them. They show interest within what you have to offer them. You can do that with email marketing. Um, if you're on social media, it could be the same thing. If they're not on your email, you just build a relationship with them on there. Um, and then, you know, send them to your YouTube videos. Send them, you always want to send people to content. Content is always going to be, um, content is king, but even more is marketing. You got to spend at least 20% creating, 80% marketing. Uh, when I first started it, when I first started, it was 80% creating, 20% uh, marketing. but you know, I've, I've been well established, so I have my content already. Um, intent, what do you want them to do? Evaluate that and then they make the purchase. So if you can see that, it's not a one time interaction with them. You have to want to make more interactions with people so then they can follow up with you and um, you can follow up with them and, you know, go from there. But a funnel here, that's that's like the regular funnel. What I'm talking about with funnels is You have what's called a sales funnel and that's basically where you take your dream customer and you show them the same front page you know when you're advertising you show them the opt-in page what they're going to receive is it going to be a free training is it a free pdf guide is it a free ebook um, is it a free plus this is where it gets interesting though when they opt in you know you can offer them something of a free plus shipping and then if you have another offer you can offer them um you know, you can even offer them your affiliate sale. But the way that I would do things with funnels is this, is, you know, when people get into affiliate marketing with, you know, and one of the platforms I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you guys about when it comes to uh, without building a website and using funnels is that people want to send people from a funnel directly to their affiliate links. And look, I don't, I don't blame you. You want to make the sale, but you, like I showed you before, you haven't built that awareness enough. You got to build that awareness. You got to build that interest. You got to build that before you can get a conversion. Okay. And so how do you do that with a sales funnel? So the amazing thing is that I have a high ticket program that I'm with and they're called click funnels. I don't know if you've heard of click funnels before. Um, they're very, they're very good. Okay. So they have 
it's, it's basically, you know, a land, it's a drag and drop software service where you can grab um, any landing page and direct people to that, you know, page. So uh, it's not like a website where sometimes, you know, people have to land on a page and they get confused on your home page what to do. Uh, with this one, they have like a certain action to take. They see one thing and they don't have to click on many things. So they see one thing. If it's putting their email information in, they put that and they go to the next page. You know, you have a thank you page after that. So the thing without having a website and why this is so effective as for you as an affiliate marketer is that you can send people to your opt-in page. And then after that, you know, once they opt in, you give them a little thank you page. And in that thank you page, you can go something like, hey, uh, I, your email, your, your PDF, free PDF is on its way to your email inbox. In the meantime, I have this amazing Facebook group where I help like-minded individuals and other entrepreneurs understand how to build an affiliate marketing business from scratch. I think you would be a great fit for it. If you'd like to check this, check this out, be, uh, be sure to go ahead and click the button below. And then you have a little button below that says join my Facebook group or something like that. And it leads them into your group where you can share with them content if that's the platform that you're going to do things on without having to have a website. Like I said, content is everything. You need to have content. You can have these funnels, but where's your content? Is it on Facebook? Is it on YouTube? Is it on a podcast? Because it's not on a blog since we're talking about not having a website. But I do say this, have a website. If it's not for a blog, but have a website no matter what. And then have a blogging search engine optimization strategy, which as an expert on that, I will help you with that if you do need help on that. And I'll have more information on that below. But, um, you know, this is one way to do it. And then, you know, you can even... Um, and then you start following up with them by email. But here's another amazing thing with, and that's just one example. There's one of many. And then here's another thing with sales funnels you can do is you have the same opt-in page or a different one. Then you send them to, you know, your thank you page. And then you can say something like step one, do this first. Step two, do this. Step three, do that. You know, sign up for your free trial of this. And then make sure you send me a friendly reply on Instagram so we can connect and then, and so forth. Or, you can send them a little, you know, opt-in page to your free PDF, right? Your free PDF version. This is what I have. I have a free PDF version, a free ebook of something, and then once they opt into that, it, it automatically redirects them to your paid version. And you might have a, you have a video here, a short video that says, hey, uh, my name is Michael. And I am the owner of Viral Home Based Pursuits. I am a full time affiliate marketer. Um, I built my business up from scratch. And what I have for you today is I want to share with you that this part of my PDF is going to be much more um, upgraded. It has much more information than what you need from the first one. It's going to expose some secrets that you don't know about what you saw in my free PDF. And it's going to give you all these extra bonuses in there that you would never have gone from here. Uh, why do you need it? You need it because it's going to help you grow your business much, much faster. You're going to see faster rates. You're going to get double the conversions and so forth. So something like that, you know, and then they buy this, right? They get the, you know, you have a sales page and they have like the little offer here and click funnels, which I use, and there's nothing like it. it makes it so much easier for you to, for somebody to put their information in. And then you can add like a little order bump so they can put a little check. You can know they can, they can check right here if they want that and they can make that purchase. And then you have what's called a one-time offer, an OTO. So now people, within a click of a button, they can see another offer that you have for them. And they just click here and it adds it to the cart and they buy. So it's automatically one push button on the next pages. And then you can do more OTOs or down sales. Um, won't go into far to those, but and I'll have more information on what pla the platform underneath so you can get more information on that. But um, that's an amazing thing, especially if you create your own products. Um, I have my own digital products and I can help you with that too, understand how to create that, which is the next point I want to get to. Um, how to start affiliate marketing without a website, right? Um, one of the best ways to get started with affiliate marketing, now we're talking about affiliate marketing training. Um, I have a place where I first started, which was called Wealthy Affiliates. They teach you more about having a website. They teach you about the blogging, the SEO, the search engine optimization, um, which is great if you want to do writing and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not, I don't like writing as much, but I've, been, I've gotten really good at it and I built a habit on it. So um, to say you're not good at it, it's not, it's premature. 
So nobody says they're good at YouTube videos until they get into it and they do it. Nobody says they're going to be good at blogging about something until they have an interest in it. So when you have an interest in what you're doing, it makes everything so much more easier because you can do it for months, years, and you can go with this for a long time. So it makes the content creating so much more easier. So pick something that you're interested in. Um, and so that's where I started. That's I think where everybody should start. That's like one of the basic foundations when you're creating content that's going to rank in Google so people can find you through like these keywords and stuff like that. But another way that I learned and I think it's very effective and I like this way now, I'm starting to lean to this direction a lot more these days um, is with in, so you have click funnels and then you have what's called the affiliate bootcamp. So you have an affiliate bootcamp, boot. you have affiliate bootcamp, which basically, this is what I like about it even more is that with their training, it's free. I mean, affiliate, well, the affiliate gives you free training too, the, the first modules, but with this one, it actually, it actually takes you through each and every single individual person that succeeded within the, uh, like the ClickFunnels affiliate, because the ClickFunnels has its own affiliate program, and I'm going to have more information for that underneath, so you can get information to the whole affiliate program itself, and then the boot camp, what I'm going to be talking about, will be covered in that too. Um, this is a great place to begin for every single beginning affiliate marketer, uh, the affiliate boot camp, because it'll show you what it is like to become a super affiliate through the lens of somebody who's already been through it, somebody who's already a super affiliate, and they give you um, training on, you know, the owner or the, the, the people who work within uh, ClickFunnels who are the hierarchy and the people who started as an affiliate, people who have their own business now, and people who run their own business and promote ClickFunnels in a different format, not the front end offer. And they show you everything, how to promote offers um, and just how to do affiliate marketing the correct way with legitimate mentors and people who um i think it's like a hunt you know they give you like a hundred days or something you can retire in a hundred days and they release a video about every day uh, once you sign up for it and you can watch these videos and they do like three or four videos per day i think it is and it's so much value it's it's incredible it's like what i can teach you on my own time but they can give you even more because it's just amazing and so it's like one person talking about how to solve people's problems, what it is to tackle people's pain points, how you drive traffic. If you have no time, what should you do? Build your Facebook group. Um, stuff that I talk to you about and stuff that I teach you about myself too. Um, the stuff that I kind of already, like they built a new, um, they built a whole new uh, program on it now. And so you can, they have updated with everything and it kind of just confirmed everything that I'm already doing and why I'm doing well. Um, gratefully and humbly why I'm doing so well. Um, but the affiliate bootcamp is a great way to do everything for free. You don't have to pay for this. Um, you get in there, you learn it, make sure you spend some time every single day to watch these videos. I think they expire, um, but you can get the whole thing um, when you sign up for them. And there's like a, a one funnel away challenge, which teaches you how to build your own. It might be your very first funnel, it might be your second, you might already be an expert at it, but it can teach you how to build out your first funnel, how to market it, even if you have your product or you don't have your own product. Um, and it'll even show you how to like create your own product so you can market that out, which is so amazing and it's so powerful because you can share funnels with people or you can have a different digital product, a cheat sheet. You can have things that, you know, I have created so many of these things that work so well. And so that's an amazing thing. Um, those are great ways to go for it. There's five ways that are the strongest and that I believe um, are the best way to start if you don't have a website, if you don't want to have a website. A blogging, I should be more specific there, a blogging website. Um, you should still have a website because people can come and find you. It's your real estate. People can come and resonate with you and they can understand who you are. Um, I don't think I missed any. Might have, might not. If, if I did, um, probably not as important. Uh, another one. Okay. Uh, here's a bonus one. Not one that's bonus, but go out there and talk with people, fan, friends and family, um, in person. That's a good way to do it. If you want to, um, it doesn't always, you know, you have the internet now though, so that can work just fine.
that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you found a lot of value on this. Make sure you subscribe for more information. Um, there's going to be more in the description how to get started, the affiliate programs that I got started with, the affiliate boot camp, um, the different methods, and more bonuses for you underneath. So make sure you look at that. Um, excuse me. And I will go ahead and um, interact with you guys. Excuse me, I'm breaking here at a later time. All right, thanks for being here. Bye.